Hello everyone and welcome to this quick tip on the UV Unwrap tool. Now it might be a case of when you apply certain materials to models, you want to use a different mapping type, such as a UV mapping type to help flow around the model correctly. But you might find that when you change this to the UV mapping type, the image doesn't flow as expected. And this is due to the 2D UV coordinate systems that are on the model. So here you would use the Unwrap UV tool. Now you can find that Unwrap UV tool under the Tools drop down and then simply click on the button to load the tool itself. Now as I had the surface already selected, it has brought that into the preview window. If you didn't have a surface selected, it will ask you kind of which model we are unwrapping. Now the benefit of using this tool is to create the UV coordinates so that that image can flow around as expected. Okay, so the way UV mapping works is it unfolds or unwraps a 3D model at a seam, lays it flat on a 2D surface, and then applies the image. Okay. So this tool is used to help create those UV coordinates, as mentioned. There are two options, quick or advanced. You'd use the quick unwrap tool if the surface that you are unwrapping is an open loop. Okay, so therefore no cut lines or no seams need to be added in to help flatten the surface. If your model is a closed loop like this one, you would use the advanced unwrap option. So here you'd first need to add a seam in, which is your cutting line. Please note that wherever you add your seam is where the texture image will start and end. So you may still see a bit of discrepancy between the meeting point so it is ideal to put this seam line somewhere that is not going to be visible to the camera when you do your final render. You then have the option to set the direction guide. So this is the U direction of the coordinate system. You do not need to set this and it will therefore follow the same pathway as the seam line. But if you did want to set it, simply click on the button and then again, select the points to show the pathway that U direction of the coordinate system should be following. Once happy with your selection, click on the green tick. And then the final thing to do is add the charts. Now, if the model already had UV charts in place, the existing charts option would be available and you could just extend this onto the other surfaces that this needs to be applied onto. Otherwise, you have the option to either flood fill or choose by angle. For this demonstration, we use the flood fill and I simply have to click on one of the surfaces. And once highlighted, I can then click on unwrap. As you can see, the charts have then appeared on the surface itself. Uh, and here you can kind of increase the, the UV size, increase the scale, and start to kind of like manipulate whereabouts you want that seam to be. Yeah. Once you're happy with what you see, I can then click on apply, and it will then apply it into the model. And just to make it a bit clear, I'm just going to reduce down that scale so we can see how that weave feature is now flowing around that model as expected. And that is how you can use the Unwrap UV tool. Thank you for listening.